Every single one of these is a baby. We're on Governor's Island at the Billion Oyster Project headquarters. So these guys are a few months old and they'll start growing over the summer. When explorers first arrived in New York Harbor, they found a harbor that was totally full of fish and the backbone of that ecosystem were the oyster reefs. When New Yorkers harvested all of the oysters from the harbor, they also removed the shells and didn't put them back. Pull this tighter. I'm going to push this towards you. Keep pulling. Yep. Yeah. This animal that was so important to the cuisine and economy of New York City for so long is now working extra to, to restore the harbor and bring all those animals back. And so they'll be spawning in about two to three years. So this is really exciting. The Billion Oyster Project is a nonprofit focused on training students and the general public to work together to restore New York Harbor. <laughs> So it only took about a hundred years for New Yorkers to harvest all of the native oysters from New York Harbor, and so the harbor's still here and the animals are still here, but they don't have any of that habitat anymore. Oysters need a hard substrate to attach to, and their preferred substrate is shells. So this is our oyster shell pile. We use these oyster shells for our restoration work. We collect these shells from over 70 restaurants in New York City, and in total we've collected 1.3 million pounds of oyster shell to date. The oysters that are served in New York City come from all over the world, really, but certainly from all over the U.S. We don't want to introduce any organisms or pathogens from other waterways into New York Harbor, and the way we protect against that is all of our oyster shells spends a full year out of the water. So we want the rain, we want the bugs, we want birds to be eating the fleshy bacteria that's left over on the shell, and we want really hot sun. They sit out here for one full year in a curing process before um, we take them to our hatchery where we seed them with oyster larvae um, and put them back into the harbor. This is the Billion Oyster Project Oyster Hatchery. Um, in here we are conditioning oysters to spawn by increasing the water temperature and giving them lots of algae to eat and we'll raise our oyster larvae in those three big conicals over there. That's a baby oyster right there, one right there, so you can see there's like five right here. We dump our oyster babies in here and they will set to all these shells in here. So we have two live oysters here on one clam shell that was from a recycled restaurant. These guys are going to be going to SUNY Maritime. We'll be putting hopefully five million live oysters there. It's a good feeling when you can say, like, I made those babies that you're holding and you're learning and you're getting your taste in marine biology. Oh, these guys look awesome. Now I'm very excited about these. For me, Billion Oyster Project is an idea and a statement that young people can you know, be trusted to care for and improve the natural environment where they live. And if we can do that in New York City, one of the busiest ports in the country, I think we're creating a model that can really exist anywhere. And we can say that humans can coexist with the natural environment where they live, even in the biggest cities.